In this video, we'll go through the steps used to create this effect. First, let's look at the completed 3D curtain object by itself. In order to create the different views of the curtain, we will need to create multiple sheet layer viewports. You will need a viewport displaying the top view, bottom view, front view, the back view, and only one viewport will be needed for both sides since they're identical. Be sure that each of these viewports is using the dashed hidden line rendering mode, in addition so that you don't have to use the scale objects command later in the process. Set the scale for the viewports to 1 to 1. Now that we have all of our necessary views set up, we need to select all five viewports and go to Modify, Convert, Convert to Lines. Notice in the Object Info Palette, there are now five groups. Each of these groups consists of lines only. Now with all five groups still selected, in the Object Info Palette, set the Layer drop-down menu to a Design Layer. This will move all of the views to a Design Layer. As you can see, all of the views and the 3D curtain objects are now on the same layer. Before we move on, let's set the attributes for the views. I would like the views to have a bold outline and all other line work should be gray. You may need to compose several lines to create the outline or you can simply trace the outline you want. Now that that's done, let's place these views in their respective planes. There are several different ways you can accomplish this. In this video, I will set a working plane based on the existing 3D curtain, then save this working plane. I can double click the group with the side view, select all, and set the plane of the object info palette to the working plane. Now the lines are planar objects set to the active working plane, which in this case is the side working plane. I can exit the group and use my smart points, then press the T key to lock an extension line to ensure that I am aligned correctly with the 3D object. You may want to switch between a few different views to make sure the planar object is aligned correctly. Now, since the side views are identical, I can switch to a front view and just mirror the view on the other side of the curtain. Then, repeat these steps to align the other views as well. Here's how it will look once all of the views are set to their respective planes. The last thing you need to do is dimension your views. You can do this by setting a working plane to each of the planar objects, then begin dimensioning. Remember to class these objects and set some of them to invisible to declutter the design layer while dimensioning. When it's all complete, here's what your final product will look like. If you want to achieve this look with a 3D curtain object using OpenGL and hidden line rendering, simply create three sheet layer viewports. One with the front, side, and top views. Another with the back, side, and bottom views, and one of the 3D curtain by itself. The two viewports with planar views should remain in wireframe. Then just set the 3D curtain object's viewports background render to OpenGL and foreground to hidden line. There you have it. Thank you for joining us and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical articles. Thank you and have a great day.